death, evil, the devil. These are the stuff from which stories, artworks and movies were made of. One of the important themes is the selling of the soul to the devil. Faust did it. Paganini supposedly did it. And even Pope Sylvester II is under suspicion because of his superior intellect. And if I think of selling, I think of a marketplace. This is the most famous marketplace in Flanders, the Grote Markt in Brussel or Grand Place in Brussels. These marketplaces really formed the core of the city in the old days. They were meeting places to get the latest news and to trade. So it's pretty logical that you would build your city hall at these marketplaces. Kind of like this one. Not a modest building, is it? One could say it's a medieval PR stunt. But hey, in those days Europe still had the cash to do it. But the architect didn't. So he had to sell something precious. His eternal soul. Jan van der Huisbroek, architect, was working day and night on his plans for the tower of the city hall when he ran out of cash and cried out, I would rather sell my soul to the devil than give up my building. Suddenly, a monk appeared. He offered Jan cash in exchange for signing a contract. Hmm. Jan, suspecting the true identity of this monk, still signed the contract, giving up his soul to the devil, and demanded that the tower of the city hall would be at the center of the building. This the monk could not provide. So Jan, seeing the result, the tower not being at the center of the building, climbed his own tower and jumped to his death. Now, what is true of this story? The tower isn't in the middle because there wasn't enough space to make the right wing as large as the left wing of the building. And for Jan, we don't even know when he was born or when he died. So the devil takes souls, and in Flanders, maybe even in Belgium, he plays a strange, weird game with us. Our national soccer team is called the Red Devils. But when we see the devil, think of the devil, we mostly taste him in bars. And maybe we should all realize that there's a bit of the devil inside all of us.